The often talked about Kamwe State Unions will cross the legal bar to be considered legal marriages for as long as they last for over six months if the marriage bill approved by cabinet becomes law. The cabinet-sanctioned marriage bill seeks to consolidate into one law all marriages consummated under Christian, Islamic, Hindu, civil and African customary laws. The cabinet brief goes on to state that under this law, it is proposed that chiefs will be enabled to consider Kamweste affairs that have lasted more than six months as a marriage and to register them as such. The proposed law seeks to provide legal protection to all marriages and will facilitate the protection of the rights of children and spouses in all types of marriages. It also makes it possible for customary and Kamweste marriages to have marriage certificates. Further, it provides for maintenance of spouses and children in case of separation or divorce. Cabinet also passed the Matrimonial Property Bill, which provides for equal legal rights of men and women in marriage and recognizes the capacity of either spouse to acquire separate property during marriage. It also allows for spouses to enter agreements as to how they will own property either separately or collectively. The bill also provides for division of matrimonial property between and among spouses within the context of customary law, particularly in polygamous unions. Another key law that the cabinet considered and approved touches on protection against domestic violence. The bill seeks to deal with the protection and relief of victims of domestic violence and empowers courts to make orders to protect victims. It will also ensure speedy, inexpensive and simplified procedures for victims to access justice and counseling. Not forgetting perpetrators of domestic violence, the bill requires that they undergo counseling to curb their violent tendencies. It also provides a robust legal framework for protection of children in cases of domestic violence. Away from the family laws, Cabinet also discussed and passed the Campaign Finance Bill 2012, which will regulate and manage the amount and sources of funds that are used during elections so as to minimize and possibly eliminate the influence of financial resources in the outcome of Kenya's electoral processes. The bill bars contributions into campaign kitties from foreign governments and entities, anonymous contributions, contributions from illegal sources, and those from state and state institutions or public sources. Among other bills approved by cabinet is a special economic zones bill that is expected to provide the basis for rapid industrialization as well as accelerated employment and wealth creation within the country. The Office of the Attorney General Bill 2012 and the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions Bill 2012 were also approved. The cabinet also banned the importation of GMO foods until there is sufficient information demonstrating that the GMO foods are not a danger to public health. Sylvia Tibet, Citizen Live at 9.